I wanted to give you guys a quick tour of uh, the new Zoom Rooms um, Pro AV con uh, controller. So this is the Pro AV controller. And you can see that um, here I've got my ATEM software control. And here is the actual output. So right now what you're seeing is camera one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got camera five right now as a screen share. So you can see uh, deck link five is output screen share one. I've got uh, SDI three as gallery view page two. So you can see if I change this to, to one, you can see it change there. You can see that you could change this to a participant and you could select a participant, like if I wanted to choose Annika full screen. So now Annika is now there on camera three. So you could see how you could dynamically move these things around. So this is all new. This is uh, something that's in beta right now. If you've seen what a Zoom Room controller looks like before, this is the zoomroom.us site. This is the Zoom Rooms uh, room management page, you could go over here and you could launch the controller. And you may have seen this kind of controller before where uh, you can do things like uh, change change the view. Uh, right now, I've got myself hidden. You can see that if I turn it back on, Mac Mini or Mac M4 Zoom Room turns on, I'm going to hide myself view. Uh, there's other things that you could do in here, like uh, see the list of participants. Um, there's other things that you can do as well, like uh, uh, turn on reactions, uh, raise your hand, all, all that kind of stuff. This would to typically be in a corporate environment on a on a tablet, like an iPad, where you're able to do things like uh, change the view, uh, change the view to a speaker view, thumbnail view, gallery view. And right now, this Zoom room is running on a Mac Mini M4. This is actually what the M4 is seeing right now. It's seeing this basic presentation because I'm I'm actually screen sharing from this this uh, computer into into this Zoom meeting. So I'm I'm in the in the Zoom meeting. If you if you look here, and I just go to um, Zoom. You can see I'm in this Zoom meeting. In this Zoom meeting, we've got eight talking head participants, and then I'm I'm screen sharing. So you can see here that we've got. Uh, uh, it says right now you are screen sharing, and if I was to stop that share, that would go away. But really what I wanted to show you is how you could take a, a Blackmagic Decklink quad card. So this is a quad card with eight SDI uh, outputs, and you could see that you could select, uh, if, if you wanted to, you could just go all people. So I could just say, hey, participant, I want to do um, uh, Jamal on one. And I, as I change these, you can see that Jamal's now in one. And now if I go to two, uh, let's change two to a participant. And then I could say two is now Annika. Confirm. And the neat thing is that uh, with the super sources in, a, in an extreme, you can create these, these kind of looks. So this program right here, I now have um, the screen share as camera five. And you can see that here with the super source. You can see box three is camera five. So if I was to change out, um, let's say I wanted um, the scale here, camera four, to be up in this box, that's box two. So I'm going to go box two, and I'm going to say camera four. And now she changes to there. And now I can cut to, if I wanted to go to her full screen, I would just preview four and then cut to four. And now there she is, full screen. Uh, I'm using a, what's called a Zowie box to to show you guys this. Uh, so uh, I'm basically, I've, I've just routed NDI uh, into my computer uh, with the output from from, uh, from the multi-view. So that's how you're able to see this. But again, what, what I, we're looking at today is how you could take a, a regular Zoom meeting uh, that you may do all the time, just regular Zoom meetings like this. In fact, this meeting here runs 24 seven. If you go to uh, Google and just type in um, 
uh, office hours, global Zoom test. Uh, this meeting runs 24 seven. Uh, you could launch this meeting just by clicking on this button right here. And now you'll have these eight sources that you can practice this yourself. Zoom Rooms software, you could download at the, at the zoom.us site or zoom.com. Uh, it's down here at the bottom. This is the software, Zoom Rooms app. And when you install it on a Mac, uh, it'll look something like, like this. I'm running it on a Mac, Mac M4. Actually, I'm gonna stop screen sharing and you'll see that this is what it looks like on the Mac. I mean, if I was to hit Command Tab, you'd see I've got my other apps running. So the way that uh, I'm able to bring all these uh, sources uh, back out is with a, a black magic card. So inside of uh, a Sonnet Thunderbolt box, I have um, uh, that quad card. So that quad card then shows up as it can be outputs or inputs. Uh, I'm not sure how what the max number of inputs are, but today what we're doing is we've got uh, eight outputs, but we can also and we could choose what we want. We could choose again participants, screen share, active speaker. So right now if I choose active speaker, so that's on five. So now if we look at that uh, that Zowie box again, five is now uh, this gentleman who's speaking. So again, if we wanted to cut to five, we could preview preview five take five, and now he's up in, in program. And now it would just be active speaker, whoever's talking. And the neat thing about uh, why this is so cool is because you, you can also do isolated audio. So right now, <laughs> excuse me, the audio mix uh, is ISO for this participant, Susan Chow. She's the host. But I could choose for each participant their own isolated audio. So inside of um, uh, that multi view when we're looking at it again here, you can see uh, camera five, she's talking. You can see she's got audio levels. Uh, we're seeing one, Jamal, Jam we're seeing uh, views on Jamal because that is a mixed audio as well. So if we were to change that to, to ISO, uh, we, would, we would now see uh, that his audio is now uh, soloed or not soloed, but isolated. So he's not talking at the moment, but she is. So she's on camera five and we could go down the list here. We could just assign outputs to each, each of the cards. And I actually have uh, three different black magic devices in that hooked up to that Mac mini. So I've got a, a deck link 4k extreme, which I could use it as a, as an output or an input. Uh, and I could choose again that content that I wanted to put in there. I could uh, do the spotlights, active speaker, screen share, and again that screen share one or two. And there's something new called a pin group where you can have a, a group of uh, people that you pin. It's like a multi uh, multi spotlight uh, is another way to think of that one. And then to bring in your own camera into the meeting, you can use a, a hardware if you want, or you or you could use NDI in a Zoom room. So hopefully this wasn't too confusing. It's it's pretty cool to see that you can use Zoom with hardware now, and this this could be a Mac or a PC to bring your your people, your camera feeds into a meeting, and you can do the cool things like again super sources where if you if you want to build this kind of look where you um, you have a, a three up plus a screen share. So let me let me screen share back into this meeting so you guys can see that process. So if I'm if I'm in Zoom, um, this one here, and I say uh, share, and then I want to share my screen three, which is off screen. You guys can't see it, but it's basically a power PowerPoint. So now I, I'm screen sharing, and now if we look back at that. Uh, Let's say, let's put that screen share to camera six. So I'll put uh, SDI six screen share, screen share one. That should pop into, did it go? I'm screen sharing. It's camera six screen share. Oh, one. There it is. So now camera six is there. And then again, I could change my uh, 
my build here so that box three is camera six. So now camera six is is now in there with the presentation. And then I could bounce back and forth if I wanted to to say, you know, camera, uh, if I wanted to say bounce back and forth between the super source and camera six and cut, 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 cut. So you could bounce back and forth or use something like mix effect to animate these on and off. But hopefully this was helpful to somebody. Uh, it's uh, pretty cool what you can do with the new Zoom Rooms custom AV controller. And uh, I'll put a link in the uh, comments where you could download that custom AV controller. And uh, I'll also put a link to the, the Blackmagic quad card.